Hey there guys and welcome back to Pokemon X and Y Wi-Fi Battles. This time I'm going up against Yuri Declan Foreman, a personal friend of mine. So this is sure to be a heated battle. He leads with his Klefki. I lead with my trusty Cobalion. You know him, you love him, you've seen what he can do many times. He goes for spikes. Okay, that's kind of what Klefki does, I suppose. I assume that it's one of the better spikers out there because of Prankster and all that stuff. I set up Stealth Rocks. And he switches Klefki out. Not exactly sure why, or what he was expecting. But he brings in Conkeldur, which might be a bit of a problem for Cobalion. Luckily, that's what Volt Switch is for. To get Cobalion out of situations that he cannot possibly deal with by himself. So I definitely have the switching advantage here. Bring in Sigilyph. If you've seen the previous battle, you know what this thing can do. He switches out Conkeldur, which makes sense. Because Conkeldur is weak to Sigilyph's stab moves, it's a logical switch out, especially if you have a Blissey on your team. As I set up the Cosmic Power, the terror begins. Start trembling already because once Sigilyph gets going there is no stopping it. Although Blissey with Seismic Toss might be a bit annoying. Go for another Cosmic Power, set up those defenses, it's pivotal to the Sigilyph strategy. He goes for the Flamethrower. Alright, does virtually nothing. And the Blissey does have leftovers, so this could go on for quite a while. So I guess he kinda saw that Blissey wasn't really gonna get him anywhere. So he switched out, bring in Klefki again. And I'm not exactly sure what Klefki's hoping to do. I guess maybe he can go for foul play or something. Sigilyph's attack isn't all that good though, so I don't know how much it's going to do, but he's going to go for a Calm Mind instead. I don't really see too many Calm Mind Klefkis out there. So that's pretty interesting, I might have to try that myself. I mean, Prankster Calm Mind would be decent, and I guess it gets Fairy Moves and Flash Cannon. I don't know what other special moves it gets though. If any at all. But whatever. The Calm Mind is going to prove a bit of a problem for me though, because if he raises a special defense, my stored power is not gonna do that much in the long run. So I figure I have to shut this thing down somehow. Might as well burn it while it's setting up, at least whittle away at its health that way. Seemed like a good idea at the time. He goes for another Calm Mind, putting him at plus three. I've kind of lost count of the amount of stored or uh, the amount of cosmic powers I've done. I think I'm at plus three or plus four. Figure I go for stored power. Might as well start piling on some damage. Does not do much. Then again, Klefki does resist psychic moves, being a steel type and all. So I poured on some damage. I guess I might as well just keep boosting my defenses, try and hang in there. He goes for draining kiss. That's actually a pretty good idea. Because with that boosted special attack, I'm pretty sure that's going to hit very hard, and it does recover a lot of health if it deals a lot of damage, which in this case, it didn't. But against a Pokemon that isn't at like plus 5 special defense, I'm sure it's going to be a very effective tactic, but he does pack the foul play after all. And it does a lot more than I... Oh, that's why. That explains the whole deal. Anyway, go for the Roost. Because I fear the critical hit, foul play, if that's the best he's got against Sigilyph, then I'm perfectly safe here. He goes for another Draining Kiss, gets another critical hit. Bloody hell. And that is going to set me back pretty far. Oh man, that was such a lucky break for him. Then he switches out Klefki. Because I guess he kind of saw that he wasn't going to get anywhere with Klefki either. Maybe he should have just kept on boosting until he was at plus 6. Because then if I'm at plus 6 defense and he's at plus 6 attack, it would have pretty much just been equal. Anyway, he switches that into his Guard of War, which turns out to be a Mega Guard of War. And... What is he going to do with Thunderbolt? As I go for a stored power, I do think Guard of War resists that. But despite that, it still does a pretty decent amount. And he goes for the Shadow Ball. Okay, that's also super effective. Thunderbolt would have been a bit stronger. I don't know if he has the Thunderbolt, though. Another Stored Power. And almost takes out Guard of War. Barely hanging in there. He goes for a Moonblast. Alright. 
Oh, that did a decent amount of damage and it drops my special attack. That really bums me out. Because I have no way of getting my special attack up with Sigilif. I guess there are also people that run a similar set to mine that use Calm Mind instead of Stored Power. But then your defense is kind of crappy. And then Pokemon that, uh, I don't know, stuff with guts or... Stuff that doesn't really care about being burned can just smash right through your weakened physical side. Anyway, he brings in Blissey again. Put the burn on it with the Psycho Shift. However, I'm pretty sure... Oh yeah, Aromatherapy. That's not gonna help me out at all. So that's gonna cure the Blissey, that's gonna cure Klefki. And that's all of the Pokémon I had burned so far. So that kinda sucks that he has an Aromatherapy slash Heal Bell Pokémon on his team. But whatever, he still doesn't really have anything that can break through Sigilef, so I'm just gonna sit here and roost while he goes for a flamethrower. What's he gonna do, try and burn me? It's not gonna work. That problem is already present, though it's not much of a problem for Sigilef whatsoever. But because of that special attack drop, thanks to Mega Gardevoir's Moonblast, stored powers, power output is kind of terrible now. I mean... That did, like, what, maybe about a fourth, a quarter of its health to Blissey? So he can easily get rid of that with Soft Boiled or Wish or whatever healing move it's packing. So we're pretty much at a stalemate here. He can do jack shit to me, I can do jack shit to him. So someone's gotta give, because this ain't going anywhere. Unless I get a lucky critical hit or... Well, I don't really see a critical hit flamethrower from Blissey doing all that much, to be quite honest. Yes, I know it negates Sigilyph's defenses. But still, I don't think that Blissey has any special attack investment. Blissey pretty much never does. So, I figure, okay, someone's gotta give, might as well be me. Get um, Sigilyph out of there, bring in Cobalion, because stealth rocks are up, Cobalion is pretty much fodder at this point. I think he can take a flamethrower fairly well. He doesn't really have any special defense investments, but damn. Ah, he's getting awfully lucky with the critical hits in this battle so far. He's had three, I've had none. Kinda bums me up, usually the luck is on my side. But whatever, let's see what a sacred sword can do. Cobalion doesn't really have any attack investment either, but still. That's a solid tube hit KO, that's not bad. But the flamethrower is going to take out Cobalion here. Meh. Not sure how I feel about that, it's not the biggest loss in the world. So, what am I going to bring in against this Blissey here? How about my Heracross? Strong fighting type, faster than Blissey. He's in for some good stuff. Logically, he switches his Blissey out, sensible move. Brings in the Conkeldur. Probably expecting it to be able to take a close combat or whatever. He doesn't know that this is a Mega Heracross though. And good luck finding anything that can take a close combat from a Mega Heracross. Because that thing has, like, the second highest attack in the game. So close combat utterly annihilates the Conkeldur, and what the hell is up with Mega Heracross's yellow back? Honestly, I think Mega Heracross is absolutely hideous to begin with, but what the hell is with that yellow back? Why is that not blue? Who thought that was a good idea? It just looks hideous. Anyway, he brings in Salamence. The Intimidate kind of bums me out, so... Switch it out. Bring in Sigilyph again. He uses Fire Blast. Maybe he was expecting a Steel-type to switch in. Well, honestly, I don't even know if I have a Steel-type with me right now. Because I didn't... Didn't really look at the uh, team preview before I started narrating this, so I have no clue what my Pokémon are. And no clue what his Pokémon are, really. But I do put the burn on him. I think he's not gonna fancy that very much. However, first Fire Blast, now Hydro Pump. I'm starting to think this is a special Salamence, in which case the burn is only a minor nuisance to him. I mean, sure, he'll still be losing health every turn, but the attack drop is pretty much something he doesn't care about at all. Whatever, put a Roost up, get some health back. Just for another Hydro Pump. I'm not entirely sure why he's not firing off a Dragon move yet. I'm assuming that Draco Meteor must be his only Dragon move, because if he had Dragon Pulse, he would have probably used it by now. 
I know that Dragon Pulse isn't a TM anymore, but doesn't Salamence have that somewhere in his level up move pool? Or as an egg move or something? I'm pretty sure that's the case, but he does finally bust out the Draco Meteor and critical hit again. That's number four. Honestly now, where's my critical hit game? I would love one as well. But whatever, Salamence is at minus two special attack now. I bring in Victini. You've seen this thing before and it didn't really do much at all. It kind of got its ass kicked all the time. Let's see if it can shine this time. As he brings in Blissey again. Makes sense, it's a special wall. But can it survive Victini's onslaught? Go for a Psychic. I don't think it's going to KO. Not even close. That's quite pathetic, Victini. However, another Psychic is probably enough to do him in. Or just fire off a Focus Blast. Because Focus Blast with Victini's ability is not all that horribly inaccurate anymore. I think it adds a good... I don't know exactly how it works, if it adds 10% or just 10% of the original accuracy. So Focus Blast is either 77% accurate or 80% accurate, which is decent. Fire Blast becomes somewhere around 92 to 95% accurate, which makes it really good, as that Klefki just experienced. Honestly, Victini has a lot of those inaccurate moves that are really quite powerful. Brings an Avalug, that must be quite a move of desperation because you generally don't bring out Avalug against a special attacker unless you have no other choice. I'd like to think that I inspired him to use an Avalug though, seeing as how effective my Avalug has been in many of my past battles. I hope that I'm inspiring people to use more Avalugs. And then he brings out Salamence again, I'm assuming... I think that's his last Pokemon at least. The Intimidate, Victine is a special attacker, goes for a Thunder. Which also becomes pretty accurate. And it also allows Victini to work fairly well in the rain. Salamence goes down. Oh, I guess he must still have something left. Oh yeah, the Guard of War. Oh, but that's going to die to Stealth Rocks. Yep. Well, good battle, my friend. There will probably be many, many more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.